Good morning, y'all. Okay, so it's finally my birthday. I woke up and I was like, oh yeah, today is my birthday. It feels like yesterday was my birthday because like I did a lot, but I'm also doing a lot for the next three days also. So it just feels like it's my birth week. I'm getting ready to go to Snoqualmie, Snoqualmie. I'm pretty sure it's Snoqualmie. Snoqualmie Falls or Snow... I don't know. It's no call me something and then I'm going to see the Twin Falls as well on the hike. So that's what we're getting ready to do. I just wanted to show you guys my outfit. So I have on this turtleneck from H&M, this necklace from H&M, this jean jacket from Tatiana's Closet. And if you're new here, Tatiana's Closet is not an actual store. My friend's name is Tatiana and she gave me this because she didn't know how to wear it because of the sleeves whatever but the sleeves are really my style she was like it's giving very much 70s it's giving mc hammer and i was like hand it up i have this belt from amazon and then i have these plaid blue pants from the thrift store i think and then i have on the same shoes i wore yesterday now i know what you're thinking major you said you're going on a hike and you're in washington isn't it gonna be cold that's what the jean jacket is for. Yesterday I was wearing a sweater and I was hot and everybody had on jackets. Now I will say after I went to Bainbridge Island, it did start to get cold like on the water. And once the sun started to go down yesterday, it did start to get cold, but it wasn't nothing I couldn't handle. It's like the morning time in the winter in Florida. You know how we have cold days in Florida and then towards like noon or three o'clock in the afternoon, it gets hot. It's literally just like the morning time, so it, it really didn't phase me that much. But it did get cold, and I did come in the house after the sun went down. So, um, yeah, but I'm getting ready to go. We're meeting at Cafe Vida to get picked up, so I'm going to vlog me on the way there. Probably what I get. I really, I don't feel like I need a coffee. I went to sleep at 9 last night, and I woke up at 6.30, so... I'm feeling cool, but I'm still getting a coffee because I heard that Seattle is really known for their coffee. So I'm going to get a coffee and probably get a snack to eat on the hike. And yeah, that should be cool. Um, the hike is only 8 to 12, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Now, I will say it wasn't as good as the El Nuque Forest and that waterfall that I saw when I went to Puerto Rico, but it's it was still very gorgeous. And I, well, I guess you could call El Nuque a mountain. El Nuque is a mountain, but I've never climbed a mountain like that. I climbed, I believe we were in the Cascades, that's what it's called up here, um, the Cascades, and then we saw Twin Peaks and the Twin Falls. And then we also saw Snoqual Snoqualmie Fall. And I learned a lot about Seattle from our tour guide. Like he 
was explaining how progressive the mayor is about um, being very proactive about the homelessness issue and providing them with the resources that they needed to get off the streets and get the help that they need because a lot of homeless people here had mental illnesses. So instead of treating it with police and just expanding the issue, like kind of how they do in California with um, just moving them down and extending Skid Row, they're definitely a little bit more proactive about providing people who experience homelessness with the resources that they need to have a home and providing them with tiny homes and all of that. Um, so it's very nice to know that the people here are very progressive. They even, he even referred to Capitol Hill as the neighborhood, and he was talking about how the upside down pineapple anywhere represents swingers. So they're very, very progressive here. Like, and he was talking about how even though there is like a income inequality gap between uh, the people who make the most and the people who make the least, there are efforts being made to shorten that gap if that makes sense and like i said yesterday last night um the diversity here is really good it's so nice to see some brothers and sisters but you know some cousins too you know what i'm saying it's just nice to know that i won't be the odd one out like i'm not the chocolate chip now i was the only black person on the hike but i did not feel different if that made sense like i don't know when you go certain places like fsu you're black and you're the only black person in the group of white people it's like it's different like you know but here they're very welcoming they're very open it's very diverse again but anyways so i'm recording on my ipad right now because my phone died that's a problem that i've been having this entire trip since yesterday is i don't take my charger with me nowhere because i don't be thinking that i'm gonna have a place to charge it so i won't have my charger on me but i'll be taking like hella pics and doing hella videos or whatever and my phone will die and then i won't have a phone but it does it, even though it has allowed me to like be aware of my surroundings a little bit more i been wanting to take pictures like it was very very beautiful out there now i got the gist of the entire hike on my phone but um like i said my phone did die anyways though my phone storage is also acting up on my phone so that's another reason why i am filming on my ipad right now but i just wanted to give you guys a quick check-in i'm really enjoying it i'm i was already sold yesterday but now i'm even more sold on like really moving here after i graduate but um yeah so what i'm gonna do for the rest of the day is i'm gonna let my phone charge a little bit try to figure out the issue with my storage because i should have hella storage and i'm not experiencing the hella storage privilege right now but after that's done i'm gonna go get something to eat the tour guide recommended this place called serious pizza and he said that he's even had new york friends say that that pizza is really good so i'm gonna go and try that out i don't know if i'm gonna do it today though because i'm planning on heading to pike place market to get some flowers for myself because again it's my birthday and i wanted to celebrate by getting myself some flowers and what else am i gonna do i'm going to try some chowder in the pike place market because i heard they got really good chowder and i've never had clam chowder before so you know if i'm gonna have it i gotta have the best and after that i'll probably get on the space needle and or the great will i don't know if i'm going to get on both of them but i know i'm going to get on one or the other the tour guide said he's been living here for two years and he still has not been on which is crazy like how are you living here for two years and you haven't been on like the most famous thing about seattle honestly i don't know i guess you can still experience seattle as a local and not have to get on the space needle so that might influence whether or not i get on it but I definitely want to get on either the Space Needle or the Great Wheel um, just to see the view of the city from above because I've seen it from the mountains, I've seen it from the ferry, I've seen it from um, if you go to a place that's like lower if that makes sense. I don't know. If you go to like a lower part of the town and you look up you can see the cities that are on like the skyline. I don't know i don't know how to explain it but you can see the cities that are on the hill if that makes sense i'll do that and then after that i'm gonna start i'm gonna come back here and then i'm gonna get ready to go out the tour guide said that i should go to capitol hill if i'm looking for a good time and plus i heard my lgbtq brothers and sisters would be out there and i'm one of them so we're gonna head out there and have ourselves a good time i brought a dress and some heels so we're gonna go out there he also said it was very safe so that really reassured me because i will be going there tonight also because i turned 21 as i mentioned yesterday i will be drinking so i don't want to hear nothing in my comments like oh she's drinking 
I'm 21, I'm of age, and I will be drinking. The tour guide said that they're famous for their brewery, so like wines and beers, but Maja is more of a liquor girl. Um, we can try some wine, but I really want to drink. I want like a margarita, I want a pina colada, I want whatever their version of the Puerto Rican pina colada is here. You know what I mean? I, I want that. As soon as I walk into the bar or the restaurant or the club, I, I want the most famous drink. So um, yeah, that's what we're going to do. And I'll see you guys next. Okay, so I haven't left yet, but I'm replying to everybody that's told me happy birthday so far because I wasn't able to while I was on the hike. Um, and I'm listening to Manny's message right now. That you get everything that you need and want in life. And that it's just a positive year full of like growth and abundance. And you know, no BS, because who got time for that? <laughs> Not me. So yeah, uh, I really love you. I hope you have a great, amazing day. You're in Washington, like you're already making the big money moves, the big girl moves. So yeah, I hope you just have a fantastic day. I'm sending you positive energy. I'm going to be with you every step of the way. I'm there with you, Washington, right now. You just can't see me. You know, I'm in the back. I'm in the background. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, I love you. Have a great day. <laughs> All right, this is Cherish's message. I haven't heard it yet. Ah, happy birthday. <laughs> That message is giving. Did I lie? Did I lie? Did I fucking lie? That video of Nicki Minaj. I'm gonna put it in the video. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wow, it, it means a lot. I appreciate you for real. All right, so I finally resolved the storage issue on my phone. I just had to delete Instagram and delete YouTube and stuff like that. Um, just to make some storage. I realized from all the footage that I've caught that, oh, that, oh, excuse me, that I've recorded like literally everything, but I just have to like, and it's not even like I'm actually recording everything that I do because some stuff I really didn't get to record. Like today my phone died, so I didn't record all of the stuff that I wanted to record. Even with everything that I've recorded, it still doesn't do justice. Like you have to see it in real life. And I've seen Seattle and so many people's vlogs and everything but it's different when you see it for real you know what I mean and yeah so I'm saying this to say that I feel like a lot of what's taking up a lot of the space in this vlog is me talking and I know y'all want to hear what I think every step of the way but I'm not going to be able to do that <laughs> because I'm running out of storage but I am going to continue getting whatever I'm doing for the rest of the day on camera and then tomorrow on camera i don't know if i'll get the last day on camera and i'm also going to take some pictures today too so i'm going to be taking my ring light out and getting some pictures um for the thumbnails and whatnot but yeah if you guys don't hear me talk again which you probably will because i just have a lot to say at all times and i just feel like what i have to say is so important that i have to put in the vlog but um yeah you'll see that later <laughs>
7.08 here in Seattle and I'm planning to go out to this bar called Unicorn. It's in Capitol Hill. I just learned today that Capitol Hill is referred to as the gayberhood because it's where a lot of LGBTs hang out and I don't want them. So I'm going to be over there tonight. I went ahead and told my friends what I'm going to be doing in the time frame in which I'm going to be doing it. So just in case anything happens, you know, they know where I was supposed to be and they know that I had plans to come back and that I didn't have plans to bring anybody back to my hotel and that I didn't have plans to leave with nobody and that if I did I would have texted them so always make sure when you travel by yourself or you travel anywhere just make sure that somebody knows where you are where you're going and what time you plan to be back where you're supposed to be so yeah there's that I wanted to show you guys my dress I was originally planning to have my hair up but my hair is still a little stiff I need to put some oil on it and I didn't bring any hair oil I didn't bring any hair grease so my scalp is just dry and itching and it's still a little sore from me doing it. I did my hair, where did I do my hair? I think I did my hair on Monday. Today is Friday. So it's, the soreness should be going away like at least by next week, but it's still a little sore and stiff. And it's just like, it just, because it's a little sore and it itches, it just makes it feel weird when it's up. Cause I was gonna wear a head wrap and y'all know it was gonna be so cute. Sorry, my phone almost fell. But it was gonna be so cute up and I tried to put it up, but it just feels really weird. And I don't wanna go and be uncomfortable. So I'm just gonna wear my hair down. And this is a dress. I got this dress from Shein, I believe. I no longer shop on Shein because it's not sustainable for the earth. They don't be paying the people that work for them. So this is like one of the last things that I bought from Shein. And yeah, we're getting ready to go out. These are the same heels that I wore in my trip to Houston when I went out to the restaurant. And yeah, so I'll vlog you guys will see. Okay, so the bar that I went to, which was Unicorn, they did not take a left on 12th Avenue. Girl. Then in 400 feet, take a right on East Pine Street. <sighs> anyway, so the bar that I went to did not take. Apple in 400 feet, Girl, you take a right on. All right, so the bar that I went to did not take Apple Pay for some reason. I haven't been anywhere that doesn't take Apple Pay. It's very weird because Seattle is very progressive. So um, I'm just gonna get ramen instead and try sake with my ramen. Maybe they'll have sushi. I can get sushi. I did have one drink. Sorry, excuse me. I did have one drink. The bartender gave it to me because he had already made it by the time that I realized that I didn't have my card on me, which is crazy because I didn't have my card and they didn't take Apple Pay and I don't have cash on me, which is a little dumb of me. I should have got cash earlier, but I didn't think that nobody would be taking Apple Pay. Like it's 2022, about to be 2023. But anyways, like I said, I'm about to get some ramen and maybe try some sake. I'm gonna head home because that one drink, I'm not gonna lie. I'm walking sturdy right now. I'm talking sturdy, but um, I'm a little loose, just a little, just a little loose. Um, but yeah, so we'll see how the rest of the night go. I just got back. I'm not a fan. The nightlife, I don't know what that tour guide was talking about, but it was not there. I wasn't expecting it to be like Tallahassee FSU, but I was expecting something else. I went to Unicorn and I waited to be seated once I got inside and nobody greeted me and then these people kept coming in and they just went straight to the bar. So I'm like, 
Okay, maybe I'm supposed to go straight to the bar. You know, I'm new to this whole 21 thing, so I don't know nothing about nothing about no bars. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that. <laughs> I'm going to be doing that. Uh, we used to drink before we went to the club, you know what I'm saying, at the crib. So I don't really too much know too much about bars. So go in. I notice that people are going to the bar. I go to the bar. Get to the bar. I ask for something sweet and fruity because it's my birthday. And I'm feeling sweet and fruity. And I heard that that was the gay neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? LGBTQ here. I'm trying to, I'm going to flick y'all off. But I was trying to have some sweet. So he was like, I got you. I'm going to give you the unicorn jizz, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. It sounds great. He makes it. He's like, all right, that'll be 11. And I'm like, all right, cool, cool. Can I pay with Apple Pay? He said, no, cash your card. It's 2022. Almost 2023, if you really, you know what I'm saying? It's October. But that just threw me for a loop. I said, I ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? About to walk out. He said, don't tell nobody I gave you this. <laughs> I was like, ah, you gotta give it to me for free. Yeah. Thank you. But it was my birthday. And I was actually very, like, distraught that, one, I didn't have my car. I guess I left it. But I was just, it was just weird that they didn't have Apple Pay because. And then the people there, they didn't have any cash either. So I couldn't, like, Apple Pay someone and then get cash and then buy drinks or buy food. So I left after I had that one drink. I tried to go to this ramen bar, but the ramen bar closed early. So I went around the street and I went to this sushi bar. Um, I didn't get any more drinks. I was going to get some sake to go with my sushi because I never had sake because, you know, I'm just now turning 21. So I could never have it whenever I went and got sushi for real. But I wasn't feeling it. Um, after the first drink, I was like, okay, that's enough. And I didn't even finish that drink. And I was already, you know what I mean? And I, I was out there by myself, so wasn't too much feeling that. But I had the sushi. You saw the sushi. It was cool. Um, I just think everything food-wise here is very overpriced. Like, you don't got no business selling a sushi roll for $20 when it only got snow crab in it. Like, let's be for real. Let's, let's put our heads on straight. Let's screw those bolts in in our brain and let's be for real. I'm not paying that. And then on top of that, like, nobody's dancing. Like, And then the people here, they really don't talk. Like, the Seattle freeze is so real. Like, the guy that was sitting next to me at the bar when I was having my sushi, he told me happy birthday because he heard the bartender tell me happy birthday. And then um, he blessed me when I sneezed or whatever. But other than that, like, they really don't speak. Like, my Uber drivers, they'll ask you, like, two questions, and it's like, I'm like, oh, my God, be interpersonal. Like, come on. So that's one thing that I do not like, the food here, and then also the introvertedness. And I'm not the most extroverted person. I don't like to be around people all the time. But when I am, I try to make it a little pleasant, a little interpersonal. You know what I mean? Even if I really don't care what the person going to say, I at least act like I care. But that might be just so the hospitality in me. They don't really have that up here, and that's a con. So taking that into consideration if I actually do move up here. But I'm about to call it a night, and I will see you guys tomorrow.